This is artist Dennis Pendleton with another one of my short videos where I show you one thing that you can use in your watercolor painting right away. What I want to talk about right now is a technique called dry brush. And I'm just wetting my uh, brush right here, but I'm taking a lot of the water out of it. And I'm going directly into paint where I have more paint and less water than normal on the brush. And then if you make a normal brush stroke, it just looks like that. Now for, uh, for dry brush, I'm loading up my brush again here. You put the brush down and move it quickly like that and like that and like that. And this is called dry brush where you get little bits of the white paper showing through like that. You can see it on all three of these different strokes. It's something you need to practice. And it's something you can really use in your watercolor painting. If you think of a gravel road or, or an old barn or uh, uh, maybe a log that's been out in the weather, it works really well. You can see the white little bits of white paper showing through there that makes that paint stroke sparkle a little bit. You can also do dry brush over the top of another color like that and get some interesting effects that way. So it's called dry brush. Uh, you use a little more paint, a little less water, move the brush quickly. It's something you practice. Once you practice it, you don't have to move the brush so quick or things like that. It just takes a little bit of practice and it's something you can use a lot in your watercolor paintings. So this is artist Dennis Pendleton saying check out my website, DennisPendletonStudio.com. You can sign up for my Sunday emails and get a free watercolor lesson every Sunday. So this is artist Dennis Pendleton saying keep on painting.